What's going on, community? Welcome back for another week of Community Choice. Last time I asked you guys, which is your favorite Super Mario RPG game? And with a bunch to choose from, we're going to get into the results here. Top five. Let's start with number five, which is Paper Mario for the N64. And this one beat out Mario & Luigi Dream Team by, like, two votes, I think. Crazy. All right, Paper Mario for the N64. Classic. It's the second RPG that was out after Super Mario RPG. While not a direct sequel, it's still a very unique and amazing RPG game in its own right. I really love this game, probably more than a lot of people, just because it's simple beauty. I love it on the N64. It still holds up today, and uh, it's a great RPG. In fourth place is Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. This is one is very interesting too because it's the first one on the Game Boy Advance. And I remember getting this game and thinking, oh, I love Paper Mario, maybe it's similar. And it is very similar, but it also has a ton of different twists to it. The characters are really zany. They got Kekletta and you're in the Beam Beam Kingdom, which is crazy. And you're fighting as Mario and Luigi, which is awesome. And you have all these stats and all these characters that you can go through. It's really unique, na uh, unique game in its own right, which is, I mean... It's, it's great. There's They have their own version of like badges, kind of. They got stash points, which are really cool. So, I mean, Superstar Saga brings a lot to the table, and it got fourth place. In third place is Super Mario RPG with 14% of the votes. This is what started it all, really. It's the first uh, Mario RPG game in the entire Mario RPG series. It came out in 1996 for the Super Nintendo. And this game, like I said with a lot of these RPG games, I think it still holds up today. Now, I haven't played it in its entirety yet, but I have played some of it, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. One thing in particular that I really like about it is the different playable characters that you get to have. Whereas, instead of like partners in Paper Mario or something, you actually have a bunch of different characters on the field at the same time. You can play as Mario or Malo, Gino, Bowser, and um, Princess Peach, which is known as Toadstool back then. So it's a basic basic journey with uh, Bowser and all that good stuff. So Mario RPG, I'd highly recommend it. You can find it on the Wii eShop channel. That's the only way you can actually uh, actually get it. And Superstar Saga, I forgot to mention, is actually on the Wii U Virtual Console. You can get it on the Wii U for Game Boy Advance. Believe it or not, there are some Game Boy Advance games on the Wii U that you can grab. In second place is Bowser's Inside Story. This is another game that I haven't touched on, but I do really want to play, and it's it's another Mario & Luigi game, another one in the series. There are quite a few of them. And this is all about a disease that has plagued uh, the area. I'm just reading about it right now. The Blorbs have, uh, have come over in the Mushroom Kingdom, and apparently... Uh, Bowser takes this lucky shroom, right, that, that he thinks is going to overcome Mario and Luigi and ends up sucking them into his belly. So it's all about you as Mario and Luigi getting out of Bowser, um, Bowser's belly and not getting digested, I guess. Which makes a lot of sense, Bowser's inside story. I t never really put two and two together there. That's really creative, though. Bowser's Inside Story offers a lot. It's got a lot of great gameplay, a lot of memorable characters, a great art style, and it's got a ton of stuff that the Mario & Luigi series has, and a lot of people think it's the best one in the Mario & Luigi series. All right, in first place, this was kind of inevitable. Here it is, the Thousand Year Door, with 41% of the votes blowing out the competition. This game is something special. I can honestly say that this is my favorite game of all time. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is just a beautiful game and it is nothing other than magical really. Unless The only reason I could think that you wouldn't like this game is because it's an RPG, a turn based RPG and some people just don't really like those games. They don't think it's it has enough action to it. I get that. That's maybe a con, but other than that, the art style is fantastic. The characters are so memorable and have so many great lines. The story is just great. Um, I mean, it's so colorful and awesome. And all, There's so many creative enemies and creative badges and attacks and options for you. I mean, you can play through the game a ton of different times with the different badge layouts, different way of going about the game, upgrading different partners. It's really incredible. I honestly get an urge to play this game like every year. I've probably played through it at least five times. It's it's uh, it's really great game and it's got so much to offer. So if you haven't checked it out, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, definitely a fan favorite in the Nintendo community. So let's go ahead and get into next week's question after that Mario RPG countdown. Next week's question is going to be, which is your favorite Super Smash Bros. Wii U stage? It's going to work very similar to the 3DS version. You cannot 
vote for any Omega forms. It's got to be all regular stages. So with that being said, I'm looking forward to the top five next time on Community Choice. I'm Red Falcon Games. Thank you so much for watching Community Choice. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment below what your favorite Super Smash Bros. Wii U stages. You can also check out my personal Let's Play channel with the link in the description. I'm finishing up a Paper Mario Let's Play right now. It's going to, going to be a lot of fun. So other than that, if you have any suggestions for Community Choice questions, tweet them at Red Falcon Games and all that good stuff. Other than that, though, thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll see you guys next time. Have an awesome week, Ninbuzz.